You would have known by now from the television and internet about the military coup in Russia launched by the head of Wagner PMC, Yevgeny Prigozhin. In this video we will talk about how this coup unfolded. Remember, the situation changes by the hour so, if you have any new updates just comment it below. Also keep in mind that there is a lot of fake news circulating on the internet. I will try to explain the actual situation using data from trusted sources. So, this all began on 23rd of June when head of the PMC, Yevgeny Prigozhin accused Russian military of deliberately killing its most elite soldiers in an airstrike. Prigozhin did not disclose the location or time of the airstrike. He claimed that hundreds of soldiers died. He also said that the war in Ukraine is based on lies and Ukraine was not attacking Russian people in the east prior to the invasion. He accused the Russian generals, defense minister and oligarchs of corruption. He said that Russian soldiers have been sent into Ukraine to die by the corrupt military leadership. The corrupt military leadership must be stopped and punished. We will restore justice in military and then in all of Russia. He said that this is a march for justice and not a military coup. He warned the Russian military of strict reaction if they intervened in their matter. He said that any checkpoint which tries to stop the advance of Wagner will be met by destruction. He also urged the people to stay at home. The first response by the Russian government was to increase the security in Moscow. The city was switched to fortress mode and the security forces were set on high alert. Heavy military vehicles began moving towards important buildings like the headquarters of Ministry of Defense and State Duma. At late night, Prigozhin said that his army had moved into Russia from the Russian-occupied Ukraine and they were on their way to Rostov-on-Don. He claimed that the border guards did not resist him and they were met with hugs and wishes by them. Wagner did not face much resistance on its way to Rostov-on-Don. There was some resistance, which we can confirm from this video of Wagner and Russian soldiers exchanging fire on the highway. The Wagner troops entered the city early in the morning which was confirmed by this video, in which we can see Wagnerian's tanks rolling on the streets of Rostov-on-Don. Later they besieged the headquarters of Ministry of Defense in Rostov. We can see from this video that there was no resistance by the military nor by the civilian. Instead, the civilians welcomed them as the saviors of motherland. They captured the headquarters by 7.30 in the morning which was confirmed by this video of Prigozhin instead the building. He also claimed that all of the military installations in Rostov including the airstrips are under control. In short, Wagner had taken the city. But this was not the actual attack. The actual attack came from the Luhansk and Voronezh region. The Russian border security, comprised of 180 men, allegedly refused to interfere and surrender. Maybe they were not well equipped, and not in condition of putting any significant resistance. The Wagner troops kept advancing north towards Moscow, along the M4 highway. This is where Wagnerians met some resistance. In this video, you can see a Russian airplane bombing the Wagner convoy. Wagnerians didn't have air defense against fighter jets but they could take down helicopters. Prigozhin claims of shooting down five helicopters including Mi-8 seconds and Mi-35. The government loyalists made preparations to defend the city of Voronezh but Wagnerians bypassed the city and kept moving along M4 highway towards Moscow. They allegedly also bombed an oil depot in the city. Wagnerians kept advancing into Leipzig blast. He claimed that most of the Russian military units in Leipzig switched sides and were now fighting with them. But this was not verified. After a long period of silence, Vladimir Putin finally made appearance on the television. He called it an armed rebellion. He compared the situation with the 1917 Russian Revolution. He said that all rebels will be punished for treason. Now let's talk about the defense of Moscow. The loyalists blocked three main bridges that lead into the city. Some say that they were even planning to demolish them if needed. Trenches were being dug outside the city. Tanks and armored personnel carriers roamed the streets of Moscow. There were also rumors that Putin had left Moscow for St. Petersburg on his plane to flee from the advancing Wagner convoy. Kremlin spokesperson Peskov denied this. But at night time, news came from the Belarusian presidential office that Alexander Lukashenko had brokered a deal with Prigozhin on the behalf of Putin. Prigozhin agreed on withdrawing its forces, leaving Russia and moving to Belarus. Putin regime will wave off the arrest warrant in return. Wagner forces were only 200 kilometers away from Moscow when he ordered them to halt the advance. Now the most important question, why did this coup fail? So, Wagner consists of at least 25,000 soldiers. They have modern heavy equipment such as tanks. They are the most experienced and battle-hardened soldiers of Russia. Yevgeny Prigozhin is not an idiot. If he took such a big step, he must have seen an opportunity. It seems that Wagner also has support within the army of Russia. Maybe that's why it did not resist the Wagner advance. Prigozhin is also very popular among the public. He gained his support because of his successful capture of many towns in Donbass. Despite this, Wagner did not have any air defense and was being bombed constantly. Maybe he realized that taking Moscow with only 25,000 men was not possible. 
The government had also made preparations for the defense of city. It would have been a bloodbath if both forces had met in Moscow. He has agreed to halt the rebellion, for now at least. But he can try to topple the government sometime in the future with more men and proper air defense. I will continue to monitor this situation, and I will keep you guys updated as well. That's it for today. Subscribe for more updates. See you later.